and report at one zero miles, Zulu Alpha Zulu. The other interesting thing here, Barry, is the elevation of the airstrip yeah. is 1,764 feet. It is, it's quite high. In the middle of Australia. Zulu Alpha Zulu at three miles. Continuing approach. Continuing approach, Zulu Alpha Zulu. Alpha Zulu, clear to land. Zulu Alpha Zulu, clear to land. Oh yeah, 90 knots, a little bit of flap going down. Finals check. Ear down, locked green. Check. Zulu Alpha Zulu, we cleared off at Charlie. Zulu Alpha Zulu, FM, taxi by Charlie and taxi to the DA. Thank you. Good one. Cheers. Got the SAR to cancel. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Just swing it around here into wind. zero out of here um, on departure climbing to initially to 6,500 feet okay Fine. all set all good to go okay away we go right full noise Whoa. and we're rolling at 2.5 knots. 60. And coming off. You're up. You're up, Chief. Zulu Kilo Bravo Alpha Zulu Comanches uh, from way uh, 1 2 and uh, tracking uh, 100 degrees on uh, climb initially to 6500. Zulu Kilo Bravo Alpha Zulu is uh, 7,500 maintaining. So Kilo Bravo Alpha Zulu, contact Melbourne Centre, 1190 decimal 8, good day. 1190 decimal 8, good day to you. Uh, Melbourne Centre, Zulu Kilo Bravo Alpha Zulu. Zulu Kilo Bravo Alpha Zulu Melbourne Centre, identified verify level. Verify at 7,500 EFR. Zulu Kilo Bravo Alpha Zulu, sir. 
what the temperature up here at 7,500 feet is remarkably 17 degrees, so it's on its way to be a nice hot day. Two and a half hours to go to Charleville. Sandra, uh, snacking time? What would you like to eat, Barry? Uh, you know, look at Hall's d'oeuvres or something. I didn't do any Amanda sandwiches today, oh. so I'm sorry about that. Well, then it's just going to have to be a snack bar. Usually bar. Usually bar. bar would okay. be good, or one of those. Breakfast you know, those. biscuits? Yeah, something like that would be good. All righty. Alrighty. See what I can find in the back there for okay, you. Okay, You've got a crosswind. How are you today? Well, I'm feeling a little bit cheated today. I'm looking at the time on the clock there, and it has 1.57 to run to the Gold Coast, and we've hardly got up in the air, so it's going to be a quick day in the office today, Baz. Yeah, it's a nice day out there too, and uh, we filed IFR for the, uh, for the Gold Coast. Um, it just uh, gets us through the um, Oki military area without any uh, particular hassles. Um, so all that's looking good. But this is quite a landmark little sector, isn't it? Because what happens when we land back at the Gold Coast today? Well, we complete another loop of our round the world. Yeah, we call it that. This will be the double, won't it? It will be. Yes. Uh, uh, the, uh, I'll just turn that down a bit. The primary, um, the primary uh, flight was uh, in Kagoshima to Kagoshima. It was. And the, uh, the double is um, Gold Coast to Gold Coast. And I think we'll dedicate the Gold Coast to Gold Coast to our Comanche 5. Absolutely. Yeah. We've got this great group of Comanche mates, yeah. all Comanche aircraft owners, all Aussies. Won't hold that against them, but that's the... Uh, and this loop is for it's them. For them. Right. Yeah. Definitely for them. And then next week, we go for the trifecta. We do. I like that, the trifecta, yeah. um, which um, will close the round-the-world loop back in New Zealand. Yes. I imagine by this afternoon these will be quite high. Yeah, they'll, um, they're on their way up now, aren't they? They are. Coast Ground, Zulu Kilo Bravo, Zulu. 
Welcome to the Bravo Alpha Zulu Gold Coast Ground. G'day. Taxi on Bravo, cross from way 17, straight ahead on Golf to parking. Caution jet blast. Well, go find a parking spot. Well, congratulations, Captain. Another one bites the dust. Hop off.